Okay, so this video is going to show you how to do uh, tables for uh, research reports in APA 6 uh, edition format, uh, which is the American Psychological Association. So it's quite straightforward to do, although it's a little bit tricky if you don't know how. So this is what your table uh, should look like. So this is an experiment that was looking at response time and error rates at uh, as a function of the time of day, whether it was the experiment was conducted in the morning or the afternoon. So it's completely uh, arbitrary data. So this is what your table should look like, but what we find uh, most students do, uh, their table will look something like this. Um, so there are a few things wrong with the table formatted in this way. Uh, primarily, APA doesn't like uh, having vertical lines, so there should be no vertical lines in your table whatsoever. Also, you shouldn't really have horizontal lines cutting through your, your data such as this. You should only have horizontal lines that segregate your titles and then one for the bottom as you can see we've got uh, here. So you can see this looks uh, much more professional, much more like you would see in a journal article. Also you've got a, a table caption which goes above the table and all of this is really straightforward to do. Uh, so we'll go through this uh, now. So uh, I'm using Microsoft Word 2007 but I think this works up to 2010 as well. First of all you need to work out how many rows you would like and also how many columns you'd like. So uh, for this uh, one, it might look like you've got three rows. So this would be row one, row two, and row three. But you've actually got four rows because I've written the table caption within a row itself. So we've got four rows, and we've got one, two, three columns. So it's very straightforward to insert a table. You go to the Insert tab on the ribbon, and go to, down to Table. And this is uh, where we select how many rows we'd like. So remember, we want four and then three columns, like so. So obviously this isn't formatted correctly, we're now going to spend some time uh, working uh, on this. So the first thing to do is just to highlight all of your table and just to centre the table. This means that all elements that you're going to put into this table will, will be centred and this will become very important uh, uh, when we come to enter the data. So the first thing I like to do before I remove all of these uh, division set, uh, lines for each cell is to actually put the, 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 the titles in and the data in. So if we start here, because remember I want this top row here to be uh, the table caption, so we're going to leave that alone for a minute. So in here we'd write time of day, then we'd write response time, and it's measured in milliseconds, and then error rate, which is percentage. So this is our title telling the reader, first of all, what the condition was, then uh, one of our dependent variables, which is response time, and a second one is error. This could be your standard deviation, for example. Uh, it really depends how you uh, to, what, what data you're trying to present. So the first time of day was morning, and the second was afternoon. And let me just put the data in. So this is always uh, a, a best thing to do before you get rid of these uh, cells, just so you can see what you're working with. Okay, so fantastic. Now you'll see we want our table caption to go across the whole of the table, but if we were to start writing in here, um, if I just copy uh, this, if I were to paste this in here, you'll see it only is contained in this top left cell, and that's obviously not what we want. What we want to do is merge all of these three cells into one uh, large cell. So what you do is you highlight them, like so, by clicking left and dragging across. Then you right click, and then click Merge Cells. Now we want this to be left aligned, so we just make sure we click the left align button, and then we can write in our table caption, like so. So now we've got all the information that we want in our table, now it's time to start uh, cleaning this up, getting rid of the lines that we don't want. So the way I do this is I select the whole table, and I'll get rid of all the lines uh, uh, in total. So you'll see up the ribbon here we've got this tiny little box that looks like a little window, and if you hover over it, it should come up uh, something to do with borders. So if you click on a little tab and then scroll down to no border, this will remove all of the borders in your table. So now what we're going to do is we're going to um, go through each of these lines one by one and decide whether we need a line in it. So for this first row here, we do need a line. We need a top line and a bottom line. So I select the whole row, I come back up here, and I select top border and then I select bottom border, and you'll see that's done that for us. Now we need one more line at the bottom here, 
So I select the whole of the bottom row and click bottom border. So you'll see already we've got a, a table. The only thing we need to do now, um, it uh, makes the table look cleaner if the top line and the very bottom line that encapsulates your whole table are slightly thicker than the lines that are going uh, through the middle. So the way you do this is click on the table somewhere so that your table tools pops up. It's either design, yeah, it's in design. So what we're going to do is we're just going to change the weight of our pen. So if you see this uh, drop down tab here, scroll down and choose perhaps one and a half depending on how large your table is. Now you'll see I've got a little pen icon instead of uh, an arrow. So now all I do is I just click and hold where I want the thicker line to go, wait till it's all highlighted and then release, and then do the same for the bottom. Once you finish, you can just double click anywhere and then you're released. And that's all there is to it. That's how you do your tables in APA format. Uh, obviously, you can have slightly more complex tables depending on uh, how many factors you've got in your design. Um, but this gives you the basics on how to do so. So hopefully from now on, uh, your tables will be up to APA standard. Okay, thanks.